Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is just gonna be me makeup testing my Halloween costumes. I haven't done the, the makeup for either of my costumes this year yet. And so I figured, since I'm testing them anyways, and I'm kind of in a, a bad mood, so I don't really wanna put the effort into a more complex video, I figured I would do my first makeup test just on camera. It's entirely possible these are gonna go terribly, but if not, maybe they will be helpful to anybody else who wants to be these costumes this year or next year or in the years after that. First one is going to be Gaston from Beauty and the Beast and then I'm going to do another one tomorrow that I will then cut into this video of me prepping and testing a Velma from Scooby-Doo. Obviously I'm not wearing the costumes. I don't think I'm gonna put them on just because I'm really tired. But I did try to kind of like test out again what I'm doing with my hair for Gaston, which is like, hi Luna. Gaston has like a like a little like fluff, like a bump, and then he has like a ponytail. And so I have my hair in the ponytail. It's not the best ponytail. My hair's kind of messy right now. And I couldn't find my red scrunchie, which is the one I would actually use in my costume because he has like a red, like ribbon tying his hair back. So I'm using a yellow one instead because his costume is also yellow, but I just could not find the red one. So anyway, the big thing with this costume is, I think, it, he, Gaston is not like obviously not wearing a lot of makeup. Honestly, both of these costumes are not super like makeup heavy. I might like for Velma, I don't know if I will. I'm probably just gonna do pretty basic with both of them. The big thing with Velma is she has freckles. And the big thing with Gaston obviously is I'm going to be trying to contour my face pretty heavily. I don't contour like ever really. Like I do a little bit of just with powder, but I don't do like a heavy face altering contour that a lot of people know how to do. I'm not, so I don't know if I'm particularly skilled at that just cause I like never do it. So I will be attempting that and I don't know how well it's gonna go. I also might, depending on how I'm feeling, try to like kind of like make my hairline a little more like V-shaped, just because again, that's what Gaston has, but I don't know if I'm gonna attempt that. But I might go actually go get some black eyeshadow just in case I wanna do that. All right, cool. So prayer circle, this does not go horribly for me. I'm just gonna start off with some primer. Everything I'm using will be in the comments below, uh, if, or in the description box below if I don't mention it, but I will try to mention everything as I'm using it. So this is obviously the benefit poor professional primer. My skin has also like just broken out so badly, so I don't know how well this is gonna go from any angle. And then I'm going to take my foundation. I'm using the MAC Studio Fix Plus in the shade NC35. And I'm just gonna put that on. I'm like genuinely afraid to do the contour for this. I like never do heavy contour. And if this is horribly, I might just like give up on trying to make my face in any way resemble his. Like I might just call it quits, but I do wanna like make an, an effort to try make this work. Like I know I know the theories behind contour. Like I know in theory how it's supposed to work. I've never personally, in all the times I've executed it, really done that great of a job. But it's I'm always afraid to go as heavy handed as they do in the videos. Because I'm always like this is gonna look ridiculous. And I'm not gonna be able to blend it out. But since this is a test anyway, if it goes ridiculous it doesn't matter because it's not gonna be my final look on Halloween and then I can just do my normal makeup on Halloween and just give up on trying to change my face at all. So anyway, how are you guys doing? I have fallen very recently into Minecraft YouTube obsession, which is kind of like a little bit embarrassing because I'm 26 years old. And the average, I feel like audience age of people who watch like the Dream SMP and and, and just Minecraft YouTube at large, I want to say like a decade younger than me. So a little bit, a little bit embarrassing. I can't really, I feel like I can't just, like I really can't talk to all that many people about it. Like I'm talking to my friend Nay about it, who's a great artist because she's actually the one who kind of like pulled me into this madness. And there's a couple people I met through the water parks fandom who are also into it now. And we kind of have like a little mini discord server and we talk in there, but it's just kind of like a, a generally a bit cringe to discuss with people. So I try not to do it too much. It's just really hard to explain because I don't even like play Minecraft. I don't understand Minecraft. Everything I've picked up on Minecraft is from watching these like mid teen to early twenties dudes. And some of, some of them are a few, a few of them are a few, like a, a little bit older, but most of them are like, late teens to mid twenties dudes, like role playing <laughs> in a Minecraft server. And that's how I've learned everything I have to learn about Minecraft. So I still don't really know anything, but I'm having a good time, which is I guess what matters. I, I keep telling myself I'm just gonna try to stop being like embarrassed of my interest, but like, I'm just like inherently embarrassed of my like existence as a human being at large. So like anything, like anything that's cool. I feel like as soon as I decide to like enjoy it, like, like I know Minecraft YouTube is not cool, but even things that are cool, I feel like as soon as I get an interest in them, I feel like they become just cringe because they're associated with me. It's not like I'm cringe for being associated with them. They're cringe because I like them. Anyway, I'm rambling and being very self-deprecating. So I'm gonna stop that also because I think my foundation is on. Okay, so I'm gonna do like a level of like just like normal concealer and then I'm going to, I guess, go in with the, the products that I normally use to, I'm gonna try to use to heavily highlight and contour my face as it were and we're just gonna like put a prayer in you know what it's kind of funny my pcos has gotten like exponentially worse so like my facial hair 
has also gotten exponentially worse because that's how hormonal disorders work. But when you're dressing up as a dude for Halloween, it kind of works like in my favor. So that's kind of nice, I guess. This is like a good enough base for now. Also the concealer I used initially, which is the Maybelline Fit Me in the shade 220 sand. Sorry, just 20. It's just not, it's not 220, it's just 20 sand. My foundation shade is 220, so I always think the concealer is the same shade, but no, it's 20 sand. I'm going to now grab my highlighter. This is like too light. It's the, I grabbed this one because I know it's thick and I know it's very light. It's like too light for me. So it's the Kat Von D Walk It Concealer Cream in the shade Warm M17. This shit is like very pale and it's kind of what I want. It also, for some reason, smells like a pool. I don't know why it smells like a pool, but I'm just gonna like liberally apply this because that's what I've seen all the contour girlies do. The thing with this stuff, and I think it's something that gets lost often in the internet is this stuff doesn't look good in person. Like you're gonna look really cakey because you're slathering a shit ton on your face. It just looks good like on camera and in photos. And especially because I'm not doing anything for Halloween, like on camera is really what matters to me. I want this to photograph well anyway, so. I look very white in the viewfinder, but it's okay. All right, so for nose contour, this is important. I have to try to make this line as straight as possible. I don't think I succeeded. I think it's like kind of crooked, but it's okay. This is why this is a test, you know, we're testing. We are testing and then this, and then we're gonna go just like under where I know I'm gonna be doing my contour line. I'm going to highlight a dot here. That's good enough. And now I'm going to grab this KVD Shade and Light Contour. And I'm gonna grab Woodland and Chestnut. I'm probably gonna mix those together to do my, like to lay down my contour. And I'm gonna use a very teeny weeny brush because I need, this, I need this to be precise. I'm gonna use this little guy. We are gonna go just down. I'm honestly like afraid, like fully. This is why I never contour because I'm like always like really afraid of how this is gonna go. I don't know if I like this brush. I don't think it's precise enough. And I also feel like these sides are gonna be like hella uneven. Ugh, oh God, oh God, I'm so afraid. This is so scary. Gaston also has like a butt chin. So I'm gonna try to lay down the butt chin. I'm also trying to like, just like get rid of my own like double chin to varying degrees of success, to be honest with you. The thing with contour is it always like looks like someone's attempting like really terrible blackface at first and then they just blend everything out and it kind of works out. So that's what I'm kind of hoping is gonna like happen for me. Like I'm really manifesting this pulls itself together at the last minute, but like I'm also not holding my breath because once again, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. So we'll see how this goes. <laughs> A little bit under my lips. And then I feel like just on like either side of my nose like this and like this and then like this under here. Okay. I look dirty. Like I look like I'm covered in mud, but allegedly this is just the magic of contouring. I guess you're just supposed to look dirty for a little bit and then it will all come together. Now I'm going to grab this wet sponge and just start tapping it out. I'm going to start with the highlight and then I'm going to go into the contour because again, this is what I've seen all the internet girlies do. And I trust them more than I trust myself to like know what they're doing. So I know I'm just gonna like trust the process, I guess. It's very much a like a not a dragging motion. It's like a like a firm pressing, to my understanding. This is blending. <laughs> I just look dirty. I don't look like a man. I look like a dirty person. Like I look like I've been rolling in mud. I was gonna make a Minecraft reference and I'm not gonna do it because I feel like the average viewership of my video is like my one friend, one or two friends that take pity on me and then like random people that stumble upon it. And I feel like nobody is gonna know what I'm talking about. But just know that in my head, I just made a Minecraft reference, which really tells you how far I've fallen. I do think these Minecraft kids get like a shitty reputation because some of their fan base, like their fans can be a little bit, shall we say intense and a little bit unreasonable. But like based on my very limited experience with them, they're good kids, man. You know, they're good kids, they're creative kids. They're just having fun with their friends. Like they didn't ask to have like hordes of children being annoying about them on the internet. And also just like the fan works that come out of that fandom, like the art, the fic. Some of it is like show stopping, like insane amounts of talent go into this stuff. Like it's really impressive to be honest with you. Like I look at it and it inspires me. Like it makes me want to draw and write just because like I see other people doing this crazy amount of like insane work. You know what? This is muddy as hell. And I actually don't know if it gave me like the Gaston face shape I was looking for, 
but it did blend out pretty okay like better than I thought like I feel significantly less muddy than I did earlier okay now I'm going to take since that all went well I'm gonna take some powder and set my under eyes Once again just tapping just gently tapping this is the ColourPop no filter powder and then I'm gonna grab this hugely fluffy brush and take the ColourPop no filter press powder and just like press the rest of my face in in the hopes that it just kind of blends everything that's left together once again i don't know if that made me look like more of a man i want to believe it did but i don't know now i'm going to grab this so that was the color pop or that, so that was the cat wendy shade and like contour like cream palette and i'm grabbing the same palette but just the powdered version in all those places i just contoured i'm just going to go over again with powder to just like re-emphasize them i feel dirty again but whatever i am attempting my best I thought this was going well and then I tried to do this part and now it's like going not well anymore. But again, this is a test and I'm learning for next time. I think I was just a little overzealous on this side to be honest. This side doesn't look too, too bad. I'm gonna grab this and I'm gonna grab this really, these really light shades and just like put on some like loot, pow some powder just to highlight all over again. And I'm just putting this, the, the same like, the same like highlighting, like light powder from this palette, just like on all the places I highlighted just to really make sure they pop. And now I'm gonna take this and I'm just gonna like blend, blend the shit out of the side of my face and hope that it fixes the problem. When in doubt, you just gotta like blend like your life freaking depends on it. Cause it usually does. This is my lighting is uneven. I feel like this side looks like shit, but I actually think this side, not bad. Like, honestly, I don't think I did a terrible job on that side. This side just got really muddy. So I'm gonna keep trying to fix because I really hate it. Yeah, it's like mud city. And I also think the butt chin, not bad. I think for someone who doesn't have a butt chin, this is as close as I'm gonna get to having one. So Gaston has pretty thick brows, which is not really a problem because I also have very thick brows. But I would ordinarily use my eyebrow gel in like a dark, shade but I, I literally can't find my dark one right now so i'm just gonna fill it in with this dark color like fill out the fronts with this color pop pencil and then just go over it with the color pop like clear one to make up for the fact that i just don't have my clear powder right now just a little more just a little bit to make this just like a smidge more aggressive because gaston as we know is pretty aggressive i've also ordered blue contacts because gaston has blue eyes but they just haven't come yet they're coming in i think on wednesday so they'll be here for halloween but i just don't have them right now and I also just wouldn't want to put them in for a video because contacts are forever, take forever for me to put in. And so I'd rather just have to do it the one time and then never think about them again. Is it a little bit excessive to pay $45 for contacts? I'm going to wear once and I'm not even going anywhere or doing anything. Yes, probably, but I don't care. I'm an inherently like excessive person when it comes to Halloween. And I'm going to put those in place with my brow powder. Sorry, with my brow gel, I should say. I don't know why I said powder. I'm very much using this eyebrow gel through my brows to just keep them in place. Yeah, honestly, if I can get both sides to look like this side on Halloween, I will be happy. Cause I really like how this side turned out. I think it looks decently natural. This line is just like, it's too much of like a just one swoop. It should go up and then pause and then curve. And it just doesn't in the way I would like it to. Okay, I forgot to do this earlier. So I'm just gonna set my face down with this Fix Plus just because I feel very powdery. I think if you want to like feminize Gaston, you can probably give him like some like, I don't know, eyeshadow or something, but I'm trying to stick as closely as I can to the original, so I'm trying to make this look as much as like the manly man that Gaston was in the original. So all I'm really gonna do, actually right now, before I do that, actually, yeah, let's just do this. I'm going to put on some mascara. I might change my mind on Halloween and put on like more than this, but I think for now, all I'm gonna do is put on some mascara because he just have pretty prominent eyelashes, I feel like in the cartoon. Like he's not, he's not lash list. Like I might even perhaps consider putting on falsies just for the occasion. But I feel with falsies, you then need to definitely put on eyeliner. And again, he doesn't really have a whole lot of like makeup, period. And once again, I'm just dressing up as Gaston. Like I'm not trying to be like girl Gaston or feminine Gaston or anything like that. I'm literally just being like as close as I can to the animated version. Not even the version that was played by, God, what's his name? I'm blanking so hard. But the guy who played him in the live action. <sighs> I'm blanking, so I'm so sorry. I love this actor and I think he's really attractive and I'm blanking so hard on his name, it's really unfortunate. Luke Evans, I think it's Luke Evans. Anyway, I don't wanna like dismiss his looks either or his version, but I'm literally just going for the cartoon. And then for lips, I'm obviously, I'm not doing liquid lipstick because liquid lipstick looks unnatural. I'm just gonna use like a 
a matte bullet lipstick because it still has like the creaminess to it that is like natural but not like overly shiny and artificial looking but also not overly dry and artificial looking and i'm gonna try to do like a a, a neutral close to my lips close to a natural lip color sort of thing because obviously like as a cat as a cartoon gaston was just like his mouth is a line it's like a black line he doesn't really have lips at all which i mean he's white so like that doesn't shock me in any way apologies to the white people maybe watching me for that joke all the love and respect in the world i'm sure most of you have lips but gaston the animated character does not and that was low-hanging fruit in terms of a joke okay and then I'm just going to line my lips with this MAC lip liner in Whirl. I feel like Whirl is a good shade for this. It's kind of neutral. It's kind of like not super warm. Like it could plausibly be sort of like a dead person's lip color, which I feel like for what I'm doing makes sense. I'm gonna take the Whirl lipstick and also put that on. I might experiment with other lip colors between now and Halloween because I don't know if I love how this one goes with like what I'm envisioning in my head. But I also don't know like what I would be envisioning in my head because again, Gaston doesn't have a lip color. So I don't know what I think should go there. I should know if this is quite the color I want. I might, I might go with something with a little more brown in the undertone, I don't know yet. But cool. And now I'm just gonna take, I've tried since I've reached kind of the end of what I wanna do makeup wise, I'm going to try to fix the hairline with just like some black eyeshadow and just like a little fluffy brush i'm just gonna try to go and like give myself like just a bit of like a like a v you know i don't know if this is dark enough for what i'm trying to do to be honest with you but i just want to like kind of darken it and just like naturally the reason i'm using eyeshadow and not like like paint is just because like my own hairline even like this part is not like straight black right like you can see kind of through it and so i thought eyeshadow would probably be the, the best bet for creating that like sort of v-shaped hairline that he does have canonically Okay. Honestly, I think that actually did like wonders <laughs> for how I feel about how I look and how I feel, how much I feel like this looks like Gaston. I feel like this hairline thing really tied it together. Like I'm looking at myself now and I'm like, yes, bitch, you are here to be a misogynist. You are here to be terrible to Belle. You're here to be awful to like the beast. Ready to fucking go. Like I'm a, I'm a man who is super entitled and privileged and has a crossbow and is ready to use it. Cool, I'm just gonna sit down with some Urban Decay All Nighter. All right, and I guess that's my man Gaston. Again, if I had energy and wasn't like in the middle of a depressive spiral, I would go put on the actual costume. But unfortunately that will not be happening due to the aforementioned reasons. But I think this looks good. And I think it's gonna look amazing with the costume actually. Especially if I fix, like if I get this side to look like this side, dude, I'm like ready to be a man. Like, I'm, my legs are wide, I am manspreading, I am letting the misogyny like fill me. The hatred for women, the hatred for like, just like intelligence, logic, I'm ready to be Gaston. Like, you know? I just need like a little LeFou to, to hype me up and I'm ready. You know? You know when you're like a man and you drink beer and say bad things to women and jump on tables and eat 12 eggs a day? Fucking hot shit. Goodbye. I'll be back tomorrow, but in a few seconds for you guys to do Velma. Hello, I am back, it is the next day. I am ready to test out my Velma makeup. So with Velma, because she is, she's like a girl, so I'm not trying to like change, okay, so this sounds bad, because like obviously like not every woman has the same exact face shape and not every man has the same face shape, but because like, I'm not trying to like structurally change the shape of my face as much. Like Velma has a pretty round face. I'm probably just gonna do most of my base the same way. I think I'm just gonna do like my base makeup lighter than I would do otherwise. Like I'm gonna use like some bronzer and some blush and some highlight, but it's all gonna be way more natural than I normally do. We're not gonna do any cream contour like we do with Gaston because again, we're not trying to like really chisel out anything. The big thing with Velma is she has freckles and then I'm also going to per potentially maybe give myself some like really tiny wings on my eyes not like eyeshadow but wings just because in some iterations of Velma like the way they draw her eyes like they kind of like flick out at the end which implies to me that like you know I don't think like, anyone's eyes are naturally shaped like that so I don't think like a, a wing would be out of the question and frankly I'm even considering doing a little bit of like light eyeliner with Gaston because I was just looking at myself yesterday after I finished filming and I kind of was like like yeah I guess this technically on paper is like sort of what I'm going for but I think I maybe want to play with the lip color a bit. And I just felt like my eyes like felt really naked to me in a way that made me kind of uncomfortable. So I might 
maybe do some light liner I don't know yet but otherwise I was pretty happy with Gaston I went and like after the video was done kind of darkened my hairline a little bit more and like ultimately I think once the contacts come in I'm in the whole get up I'll feel better about it but I was like kind of like 50 50 on it to be honest with you I also got my hair in braids because I'm also going to test out my Velma wig I've had it for a while but I still haven't tested it out and like at this point if, if the wig sucks I can't really do anything about it it's too late to get a different one in time for Halloween so I'm just gonna have to deal with it regardless but I figured I would also test it out so I've braided my hair into these like pretty skinny like a skinny like they're they're not like the best braids I've ever done but they are like pretty skinny and pretty tight which is what I want because I want to be able to fit all of my hair under a wig cap so we're also going to test that out but anyway I'm just going to start with makeup again I'm trying to use predominantly the same stuff just so that the list of like products used in this video is not like a mile long but obviously some things will be a little bit different also I did not like properly wash my face yesterday I kind of just makeup wiped the situation so there's definitely like residue makeup on my face from Gaston also my brows are looking kind of messy I haven't had time to go get them done again and so I feel like they're a little they're, again they're a little thick for they're good for Gaston but they're a little thick for Velma and like if I thought I had the ability I would attempt to cover them again but I've tried to cover my eyebrows with three Halloweens in a row it's just like it's not gonna happen for me it's never gonna happen for me so we've just given up on that it's a it's a pipe dream okay so I'm using the exact same primer and foundation that I've used for Gaston and I'm gonna use one of the same concealers I'm just not gonna use the really like pale concealer that I was using to highlight yesterday I'm just gonna use the like Maybelline more close to my natural skin tone one to do just like a little bit of concealing and not like the extreme highlight I was going for yesterday when I was trying to like severely contour my face what is my dog doing anyway I had therapy today <laughs> and I have felt like a punctured balloon ever since it's like therapy is annoying sometimes because I'm sorry, this is just a privileged thing to say. I don't look like, not everybody can go to therapy, but therapy is annoying because like, I don't know. I feel like half the time you're like feeling okay about something and then something is brought up and then suddenly all this stuff that you were like fine with or like seemingly fine with, you know, like maybe you weren't fine with it, but it was like, you were not fine with it like under the surface. It's like now you're not fine with it on the surface and you have to like, deal with it. And I've just been like super on edge all day. Like I took my dog out for a walk and I kind of just like had to go into like an abandoned parking lot and just like scream the like, you know the one part of the fall by Lovejoy, like the, the the part where like the screaming off a cliff part. I had to go like yell that, and I, I looked ridiculous because I was wearing like my bat pajamas with this like giant Unis Honest hoodie on top, and I was walking my dog and just fucking like yelling. And I don't think I, I hope nobody saw me, but it wasn't that late, so I feel like people probably definitely did see me. But it's okay. It is okay. It's fine. Cool. Now we're gonna just conceal a little bit. You know what I really miss? Playing D&D. I feel like I haven't played D&D in like a year. And even before that, like I, I've played D&D like a couple times in my life, but I've never really had the chance to like do it consistently for more than a few months. Like I think my longest ever D&D campaign, campaign was my first one with my friend Nay and a couple of our other internet friends, Jess and Amy and all them. But even that one just, it feels, it feels a lot because our schedules were not working. But like I had a lot of fun. That's the longest one I've ever had. And I like, even if we can't get that group back together because we're all just like busy and our schedules don't work. I really miss that character. Like, Liberty was my first D&D character and I love him so much. He's like definitely like not creatively written. He's very stereotypical in terms of like, he's like every archetype, every trope I like, like piled on top of each other. But I miss him. I miss my little blue tiefling so much. Anyway, I'm just like rambling while I do my makeup. Cause this part's kind of boring. I feel like you've seen it already. I'm not doing anything like new or innovative. Okay, this is the part that gets different from yesterday. I'm actually gonna set down my face because we're not doing any more cream steps. Everything from here on out in terms of the base is powder. So I'm going to take this ColourPop pressed powder and just, sorry, this loose powder and just go under my eyes. It feels weird doing like such a like normy look for Halloween. Like I'm used to doing really elaborate makeup for Halloween. Like at least on the eyes, you know, like even though like, like Cruella and Ursula like even like Ursula had the whole like, body paint but even Corolla had like very like she had green eye like green glittery eyeshadow and like a pretty elaborate thing going on. <sighs> Gaston like the contouring is kind of hard and I don't think I'm very good at that part but just in terms of like what he looks like he's just some guy and like obviously Velma is literally just like a human person who just like she's a teenager so she looks pretty normal and so like unfortunately the, the makeup part of it is not fun for me but the group costume aspect of Velma is very fun. I've never really done that's a lie. I've done a group costume, I think, once before, and that was when me and Becca and our university friend Shanice did. We were a team cap for Halloween one year. So I was Bucky and Becca was 
Steve and Shanice was Sam and that was very fun and I think that was my first ever time doing like a group costume with people but I think that's always fun like the the communal aspect of it okay anyway cool I'm going to just take my shade and light palette same one I used for Gaston but just the, the powder one not the cream one and I'm just gonna like use the lighter shades not the dark one I usually mix all three but I'm just gonna use these two top ones to just get like a kind of neutral neutrally color and just like pretty much just do my contour the way I normally do it which was is very like light and very much just to like bring the shadows I erase back to my face like it's really not like a reshaping my face type of situation at all it's literally just because like I flatten out my face when I put on foundation so I kind of just want to like return the natural shadows to where they're supposed to be what are you guys being for Halloween if you are being anything I know it's kind of hard to gauge if like it's safe to like do stuff for Halloween but even last year when I didn't really do anything and I just was like at home I had fun with it I think even if you don't do anything just the dressing up part is fun I feel like if I had energy I would like really be into cosplay because I love the dressing up part of like Halloween the most like I wish I could do that every year or I had a reason to do it every year but unfortunately unless you're like a cosplayer and you go to like conventions and stuff there's not really like a reason or a socially like accepted reason to dress up every day my whole issue with not being a, a cosplayer is I just feel like I don't have the energy to learn how to do all the things that would be required to like successfully cosplay because you can't just buy all your costumes I, I feel like that would cost a lot of money and also I just feel like the stuff that's available to be bought is either like shitty or outrageously expensive and so it probably which like like not in a bad way like that stuff requires effort and so obviously you'd be like better off just making it yourself but then you have to like hone those skills right which are skills i don't even have a little bit of anyway so i'm just like thinking out loud but i think i would have fun with it conceptually because again i love dressing up and there are so many characters i would like to dress up as but just like no time no skills I'm done with this i'm grabbing the lunar beauty moon prism blush palette and i'm gonna grab the shade stargaze which is like this pinky one in the middle and i'm just gonna very lightly just give like about less some flush Again, she's a cartoon character because her face is like literally just like it's white. So, like, she does not have any color to her face whatsoever. But I just feel like that doesn't really look healthy. And you're gonna be like, Sam, why aren't you doing this for Gaston? Well, I'm a hypocrite. And sometimes I fall victim to tropes. And I just feel like Gaston would not, would look like, it would look, it would look like I'd be doing like a feminized version of Gaston instead of just Gaston straight. I think I put blush on, I think. Whereas I don't think anyone will question why I'm wearing blush as Velma. And then I'm gonna grab this Essence Pure Nude Highlighter in the shade Be My Highlight because this is a very natural looking highlight, which is what I like about it. And so I'm just gonna like put this on because as far as my highlights go, this one kind of gives you like a, a flush, but it's like not, like it's pretty tame. Like it's not outrageous the way a lot of like other highlights can be, I find. Like it just looks like the way light would reflect off your face instead of just being like blinding and like visible from all angles and space and stuff. That's how I feel about that one. Cool. I'm just gonna have this fluffy thing and just blend this all out again. And I feel happy with that as a base. I'm gonna grab this clear ColourPop gel, the same one I used for Gaston. And I'm just gonna run it through my brows. Again, this time I'm not even using any color on my brows because I already think they're too thick. They don't need more. Thelma's brows are not like a particularly standout part of her face. They're not like huge or anything. They're not like they're not like pencil brows, but they're also not huge. So I don't wanna like do anything to like accentuate my brows. I just want the hairs to stay in place. And then I'm just gonna set my face with the MAC Fix Plus. My MAC Fix Plus is like leaking and I don't know why. Like there's like water coming out of it everywhere and I like genuinely don't know what's wrong with it. Like, oh, is it just loose? What the fuck? Okay. Yeah, I don't know why this is leaking everywhere. It's, it's very annoying though. Okay, while that dries, I'm gonna put my lips on, which is usually my last step, but I figured I'd do it now. I'm going for something a little more pink than yesterday. Yesterday I went more like, brownie taupey with whirl this time i'm using soar by mac but again i'm using a bullet lipstick because i want it to be a little more natural and a little more creamy and a little more like plausibly your own lips versus like a liquid lipstick that would be super matte and then would obviously look like i'm wearing makeup just because velma doesn't seem like she would wear lipstick and if she did i don't think it would be like a matte like bulletproof liquid lipstick <laughs> you know something i actually have stuck in my head even though i've been listening to the fall all day it's all futile, it's all pointless by Lovejoy is actually the Lovejoy song I have stuck in my head for some reason. I think I overlined my lips by accident, which is a mistake I will not be making on Halloween, but that's okay. Okay, perfect. Honestly, I might actually end up using this color also to be gas gnome, but just like lighter. Just because I felt like yesterday's was a little too brown, but I don't know. I'll play with it tomorrow. I haven't decided. It's really hard for me to figure out like what is a good nude like not you're not wearing lipstick but you are wearing lipstick color for me i feel like everything's undertone it's just like not correct luna really wants attention like she's so attention starved even though i took her for a really long walk right before filming this okay cool now i'm going to lightly just to give it a little bit of definition i'm just gonna lightly take 
it's like just this fluffy brush and take this like middle contour shade of it and just like very lightly like just like put a bit of color just in my crease and that's it that's literally all i'm doing in terms of eyeshadow like you don't even have to really do this i just kind of want to have my eyes match my face a little bit and then i'm gonna do the, the very tiny baby wing that i was talking about that i might not even do on halloween like this is by no means like necessary for velma like you, you can argue she has no eyeliner on it's just i kind of liked the design i saw in some of the animations where she had like the little flick and i feel like i would feel better with it but it's gonna be very small like very okay it's a, a bit bigger than i thought but like i'm going to try to keep it as like small as i can okay it does not help that i can't find my big tattoo liner so i'm using this like mini that's like kind of dried out so like don't repeat my mistakes obviously use like a wet liner but like literally this is it that's all. That's the, the maximum wing I'm doing here. Okay, that's it. And like, again, this is dry as hell. Like, this is drying so badly on my lid. It would be a lot easier if this was like not dry. Like I probably need to throw this out to be honest with you. But that's the extent of the wing. And then I'm just gonna put the same mascara I put on for Gaston, which is the Essence Lash Princess. Just a very subtle, very subtle mascara. I just got mascara all over my you know, Honest hoodie, but it was on the black side and not the white side, which is okay. It means you can't even see it. <laughs> but that was a pretty big oopsie okay cool and then i think with that all that's left is the freckles oh no my wi-fi has been on this whole time so i really hope that my audio for this part is not going to be super hellish if it is i'm really really sorry i just did not realize yeah because the kind of has like three just like three freckles like in a little triangle shape so that's kind of what i'm gonna do you could also go more natural and just do like normal freckles but i'm just gonna do like the three the three that she has because Again, I'm, all, I'm not about realistic. I'm here for like faithful adaptation as much as I can. Honestly, I wish I could have this ColourPop like freckle pencil in like a darker shade, but I don't. So this uh, soft brown one is going to have to do the trick. I might go differently on Halloween and just decide to go ape shit and go like freckles everywhere. But I'm trying to be accurate. So we're just gonna do those three. And I'm just gonna like dab them to make them seem a bit more natural. Not natural, but just like blend it in. Cause obviously like three freckles in this shape, it's not super natural, <laughs> super natural. Anyway, then I'm gonna set everything down with this Urban Decay All Nighter. And now I'm going to go put on my wig, BRB for the final results. Hey gang, I am back. I kind of feel like one of those cartoon characters where you can just like straight up never see their eyes because their hair is always covering it, which is kind of fun, <laughs> but it is poking my eyes a bit. So, Overall, I'm really happy with this wig. Like, the sides come out in a way that I don't feel like I need to style them. Like, I'm not fussy. I'm not a wig person. I'm not a hair person. So, like, I'm not super fussy with the way the sides came out. Obviously, the front is very long, so I have, like, two options. One, I can try to freehand just, like, cut the bangs because, obviously, these are a bit longer. Like, ideally, the bangs would, like, end, like, here, you know? So, like, I could trim them, but I don't have, like, hair scissors. Like, I have just, like, your, like, blunt-ass kitchen scissors, and I don't know how to, like, really trim bangs in a way where that would have them, like, be even. Or I can try to like style it just in a way that like is a little bit just out of my face. Like it wouldn't quite be Velma because Velma obviously has like the straight across like they're kind of wavy but they're like kind of straight across bangs. But I could also just like, you know, like tuck, tuck out of my face. I don't know. Or maybe try to like, I don't know, like style it in a way that like just keeps it out of my eyes. But overall I'm very happy with the wig and the length. I was worried it'd be too long and it's not so it's like huge. Hold on. I have one last thing. To complete the look besides like putting on the actual costume like the orange sweater and stuff but huh huh i already feel so much more like her with just the glasses on like even if i don't fix this like bangs issue i think the glasses really like bring it together like i am her i am velma dinkley i might actually with like this faded liner make these freckles a bit darker just because i feel like for halloween you really are more caring about visibility. What? I feel like for Halloween you're more caring about visibility than realism necessarily. And I feel like with this color pop one, you really can't see anything. There we go. Anyway, yeah, I might I might trim to like here. Eh? I think that would be perfect. But otherwise, it's me. I'm Velma Dinkley in an Unis Honest hoodie. <laughs> cool. This is it. This is the final look. I hope that was helpful anyway. And if it wasn't, it was helpful to me. I learned from this. I know how I'm going to execute both of these better on Saturday and Sunday, which is the 30th and 31st. 
I'm gonna wrap this video up because I have to edit. So with all that being said, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. If you want to follow me on other social media platforms, you can follow me on Twitter and on Instagram. And I have TikTok now, so I'm gonna put that up here now too. And if you want to hang out with me on other videos, I post new videos every Wednesday, so please hit the subscribe button and I will see you guys all next week. Bye!